my name is Kate. Welcome along to this video. It's a bit of a mixture, this one. I've got an Asda home haul to show you. I've also got some Mrs. Hinch home items that I got on my Tesco online shop to show you. So I was really excited to see those. So I'll show you those first and then I'll get into the Asda home haul and everything that I found was online. I haven't been out shopping. I know you can go out for your essentials, but just to let you know, this is everything. Um, all of this was found online shopping. That's me shopping online. But before I get into it, I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone. I hope you've had a nice week. I've got to do my mug of the day first. It's this lovely bee mug. I've kind of got like matching theme on. I didn't mean to do this, but I've got my, um, this leopard print hairband and this mustard jumper and this little bee mug with the little bees on. It's all kind of matching a little bit, isn't it? It's a bit spring-like. So this was from Dunelm, this mug, ages ago, about three years ago. And, um, it was, I don't know, I was going to tell you the price, but that's irrelevant because it was so long ago. Anyway, this is my mug of the day. And I've got a decaf coffee, but I'm not drinking it because it's gone cold. Right, so I'm going to carry on. I'm going to start because I haven't started yet. I'm going to show you the things, the Mrs. Hinch home items that I added to my Tesco list. Then I'm going to do the Asda home stuff. And then I've got some vlogging that I did on the beach the other day when the weather was gorgeous. So I'll add that at the end. I know people love to see the beach. So I'll add that at the end. And I've got a couple of things to tell you about, which I shall do at the end as well. But I'm going to go straight into my um, Mrs. Hinchy bits that I found. So I didn't even know she had like a home. She's launched a home home decor range, home furnishings. No, what's it called? I don't know. She's got some stuff on at Tesco. So she's designed some things like this. Um, and, I, and I typed in the wrong thing. And I think I typed Mrs. Honch or something. Mrs. Hinch didn't come up on my online shop, but Honch did. I put Mrs. Honch and a load of things came up. So um, I don't know why that worked, but I ordered a couple of bits from it. So they had all sorts of things. Um, they had bed sets and she had some lovely candle sticks, like candle holders and prints. She has some nice little prints as well. So all sorts of lovely homey bits, but I just got a couple of things because I didn't need loads because I've, I've got some stuff from Asda, as you can, uh, which you're about to see. You might be able to hear Rufus the dog. He's having a snore on the bed. So he's, he normally sits next to me and snores, but he's on the bed in a sunbeam having a nice sleep. So you might be able to hear him in the background. But I picked up these two mugs I thought they were really sweet. As you know, if you watch my videos, I do love a mug and I thought they, they were just really lovely. I think I'm gonna do that like a, a beauty vlogger, just so you could see the gray at the bottom. So they're speckled, they're whites with gray speckles, specks or whatever, whatever the term is. And it's a nice heart and it says, it doesn't say Mrs. Hinch, it just says, this is a sticker saying exclusively for Tesco. So I'll just peel that off when I wash it eventually, but it's a really sweet mug, isn't it? And that was three pounds. So I got two of them. Normally I'd just buy one mug, but I thought it might be quite nice for me and Lee to have one. A little, you know, tea or coffee in there. And might be quite nice for Valentine's Day. So I got two of them. They're really sweet, aren't they? So two of those. Mrs. Hinch mug of the day. And the bottom it just says, wash before first use. Um, may become hot in the microwave, handle with care. I will. I won't drop you. So I got two of those. She did have a few other mugs. Um, there was a dark grey version of that and there was a lovely like sage green, I think it is sage green colour and it says hinched on it but I'm not into cleaning, I just like the mugs and stuff but um, if you are if you are a hincher, that's not how you say it, if you're part of the hinch um, congregation you might like the mug that says hinched, it's a really nice colour and then I tried to get an oven glove but they didn't have the oven glove so tesco they always give you like a substitution so they gave me this and well they didn't give it to me i bought it so they sent this instead and i just thought that's quite nice and this was five pounds but i think her oven glove that she designed is nicer but equally this is lovely so this was a fiver it's a double double oven glove and the one we've been using is getting really you know how they just get really worn out so i thought well, we'd get another one because we're at home all day doing lots of cooking so I got another really nice warm oven glove. So I like this when I get into the arga and get stuff out. So it um, goes over your hands like that. You know what oven gloves do. And um, this side is like paler, paler pattern. And then it's darker that side. So an oven glove for five pounds. And then the final thing in the Mrs. Hinch, Mrs. Honch. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just a sticker thing. A label in the Mrs. Honch Hall um, is this really sweet little drawers. So 
it's a mini chest of drawers and I'm going to use this in this room this in this is going to be in this room with all my makeup in so I just thought that was great it's a good size you might be able to hear Toby and Lee downstairs they're finishing off doing homeschool it's really sweet though that was 12 pounds I think it was 12 12 or 14 but I'm pretty sure it's 12 and it's a grey wooden little chest of drawers and that would be nice maybe in the kitchen or wherever but I'm going to have it in here with my makeup in because I've currently got like a cardboard one and it's really flimsy and you can't open it properly so I think that'll be really nice in here with makeup what do you reckon what would you use it for it's sweet isn't it I do love things like this and it just says Hinch designed for Tesco exclusively for Tesco on a little sticker there so I'll just take that off but yeah it's nice isn't it like the little bottom here this would be really nice if it was like a large a large chest of drawers wouldn't it but it's a mini one with silver handles so yeah there's all sorts of on the mrs hinch range i just got a couple of bits and like i said there was all sorts of things in the mrs hinch range for tesco so yeah i just thought i'd show you those bits first but i'm onto my asda haul i've got my prices here and i've got some lovely things so i'm going to save my favorite one for last yeah for the ending because it's just I really love it and I'm going to start off with this little you can't see because the background's green but it's a little like heart thing if I do this actually it might be better you might see it better that's it there you go oh wrong way that says love so it's a little metal heart with a wooden bottom that's it there so a nice sturdy little wooden like a gray wooden gray brownie wood with a metal little heart thing sign with some eucalyptus and it says love. I think this is really sweet. I love things like this. So you can just put it anywhere. You can, it would look lovely in this room actually, or downstairs, I think. Maybe with my mugs, I can do a nice little happy Valentine's picture with these things. Hello, oh, because it says love. Oh look, it looks like a pair of glasses as well, but you, I can't see out of them because it's not really glasses, it's a sign. So six pounds for the little sign. And this was also six pounds. It's a table runner, a woven table runner, 33 centimetres times 150 centimetres, sourced as responsible cotton, George for good. And I bought this for our table, obviously, but I thought it might look really nice outside when we eventually get back to being outside and putting this on our dining table outside. Garden, no, garden table, not dining table. So it's a really lovely long table runner. And actually this probably wouldn't go to the very ends of our kitchen table, but it still will look lovely. Maybe I should have got two. I don't know. It's really nice though, isn't it? So it's kind of that, would you say geoprint? Does that make any sense? But it's gray actually, it's gray and white with little tassels. I think that'll look really nice with my heart plates. I've got some lovely heart plates from Dunelm and I think that's going to look really nice. I think Ewan would like this wouldn't he Mr Carrington? Well, I think he would like this. So a table runner for six pounds and then what else have we got here? Some lovely bath mats. So I thought I would, oh I've just dropped something it's okay though. I thought I would treat myself to some new bath mats and these were such a good price. So I got two of the same, just move that there, two bath mats for our en suite so we've got a sink each me and Lee were really lucky and um I'm going to put one either side like one in front of each sink if you know what I mean not the sink like the sink unit thing um and that looked really nice there but they're really chunky I think they look really posh and I absolutely love the colours of these they are bathroom or en suite colours so you've got sort of a white in there there's a grey as well if you can see that so these are the colours of our bathroom so I think these will look really nice and there's a tassel on each corner and they were nine pounds each they're really thick so they'll feel really nice like under your feet so yeah i really like them i like you so nine pounds each for those and then oh there's bits coming off them i bought this one for our main bathroom the family bathroom because it'll just look really good and it's going to make me happy because it's so bright and jolly and it says hello if you can see it there i don't know if it's bigger than the other ones i think it must be the same size but how lovely is that so it's got a rainbow in it and all the same kind of colours, really lovely. So that looked great. Well, there's different tassels. So you've got tassels on this side and then tassels on the bottom. Oh well, tassels on the bottom as well. You can just about see. And this was £10, this one. So just a pound more than the others. And isn't that lovely? I think that's so nice. So 
that will go in our main bathroom. I've got bath mat bits all over me. Yeah, so that'll be for our main bathroom. And then I've got some more bedding. I bought another, ah, one of these, oh, Teddy Fleece bedding. If you watch my Asda hauls from last year, I did quite a few. I've bought some of this bedding. So this is um, super soft, super, what? Super soft Teddy duvet set. This is super king with two pillowcases and it's just the comfiest bedding ever. So I've got some fitted sheets and I thought I'd get one more of these um, because they're just so lovely. They're so snuggly. It's the best bedding I've ever had. So I thought I'd get one more because just in case they don't do them anymore in the future, I've got a really snuggly white one a grey one and now I've got a pink one so I'll put this on the bed actually a bit later and they come in these big bags if you buy stuff from Asda so they have like a protective thing which is great this was 30 pounds for this super king set and um yeah it's so snuggly and I did if you watch my video from two weeks ago the white company sale haul I bought some super king pillowcases and I'd never I didn't even know they exist and they are brilliant and Ewan Mr Carrington bought some as well so he bought some super king and he bought some king size pillows and king size pillowcases and they're just brilliant because they go all the way to the end of the bed i found some pillows as well from the white company i couldn't find any other ones they were 20 pounds each and they're washable and they reach like the end of the bed so i was really happy um so yeah you can put those on if you have like a super king or a king size you can get pillows to fit the actual bed which is amazing and then i'll put this on as well and then maybe put the smaller pillowcases in front of the larger ones if that makes sense so 30 pounds for that and i'm just gonna i'll put this down i'm just gonna throw it then but it's quite heavy so i'll just put that there and i'm on to my final couple of things i love both of these actually so um i think the last thing i want to show you is probably my favorite and these are another thing that i found recently and i kept looking at them online and i saw some lovely ones there was one of the white company um, but it was about £80 and I saw some other ones and when it popped up on Asda when I was looking online I thought oh, I'm gonna get it it was £18 it's um, a diffuser but it's a plug-in one so it just says on the front invigorate it's part of their just wellness range they've got some lovely cushions and all kinds of different things but this is I think it's a plug I'm pretty sure it's a plug-in one I'll show you in a second but it just says white mint and eucalyptus so it's got a little bottle of scent there um, scent mist diffuser contains natural essential oils and if i just open it up i think it's what i think it is i think yeah it is it's a plug-in one with a usb thing that's good so in here is this lovely wooden diffuser oh rufus some of these can be really expensive like i said the white company one did look lovely but i think this is just as nice actually and i love the fact it's sort of wooden what well, looks wooden and it's looks more natural so I really like that and it's meant to you know bring out loads of smells isn't it it's meant to let me read yeah mist so the mist will come out smell lovely so it's a good way of getting some nice scents into your home I've got the instructions here I'm rubbish at reading them so I probably won't read them and I'll just plug it in and then you must have to I'll have to read them like, okay I'll have a little look okay so it looks like that on the inside and I will work it out later so just to let you know that's what it looks like and it must twist on and then you've got this to plug in at the back there so it does something like that and then obviously if you've got like a charger thing you can plug that in or if you're lucky enough to have the sockets just for the usb thing and then you i'll shut up now but basically that was 18 pounds and that hopefully will make my house smell lovely i'm now onto my final item i think it's my favorite look look at these little houses how cute are they so if you've been watching my videos i'll put them on my shoulder like a get up blaster um if you've been watching my videos for a while you might have seen that i found three little houses at a car boot sale they were from asda as well uh, but i found them for like 50p each or something and they were great over christmas and i loved them and i had little hearts on them but i saw these and thought these look like all year round little houses so i thought i'd get them because i can always put five in a row i can get my other ones out and add them and have a little house section somewhere in my house these were 12 pounds and they're yellow white and gray and i thought they were kind of quite spring like i suppose they're all year round little things aren't they really cute so i'll just open this up at the bottom so you can see it um, three little cute 
so sweet. Hello, how are you? Hello. Three little houses for £12. And then I think the candle just goes in at the back. There's a little, yeah, so a little thing oh. in the back for tea light holders. How are you? Hello. You finished your homeschool? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Or mind that? Oh, do you want to say hello? Hello. Hello, how are you? Good Should we go day. for our walk? I'm good. I'm good. I just finished my haul. And you're excited about doing the smelly thing, plugging yeah. it in, seeing how it smells. Oh, it smells very no, nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I oh. need to get Lee to read the instructions and then put some, put some, um, put the thing in. I've got bath mat bits all over my face, I think. They're the instructions, do you want to read them? Uh, do you press a button? Yeah, I think so. Toby, we've got some exciting news. So just before I go, um, I'm going to put the beach vlog at the end from the other day, but we're going to be on the radio again tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. So just in case you haven't watched my videos recently, I've been doing a Saturday show on the radio and it's online. So anyone can listen. I record it at home and then it sort of goes out like magic to everyone. around the world. Everyone can. You just click the link. I'll put it in the description box. So you click that link. You can actually ask Google and Alexa to play as well. So I'll write how you can do that because I don't want to say it now because it'll start playing. Yeah. So yeah, if you fancy listening to the radio tomorrow, I'm on 2 till 5 p.m. And if you want a shout out, write a comment below and we can do a shout out for you because Toby yeah. does the three to four p.m. hour. So we'd have a like, we do it together, which I love. I love being on the radio with you. So do I. So tomorrow, 2 till 5 p.m. on the radio and Toby will be with me from 3 till 4. So if you want us to do a shout out, a special occasion, someone's birthday, or you just want to like, hello, write it in the comments and I'll, we will do that for you, won't we? Of course. That's a will. promise. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to go now because we're going to go out for a walk, aren't we? Because it's a lovely day. You ready to go to the beach again? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take again. Rufus. Again. How many times have we gone to the beach um, since lockdown? A million? Like when... Like, I don't know. A lot. Probably about... How much do you reckon? 45. 45 times. Could be. I think, I think <laughs> you're probably right. Um, but if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. And like I said, if you want to mention on the radio, if you want to shout out, shout out, comment below. <laughs> and let me know your favourite item in this haul. So what did you like the best? Was I like the smelly Mrs. Thing. Hinch things. Was it the Asda things? Actually, I like them as I well. I love the tea lights. I like them. I know. This is cute, isn't That's it? That's nice. For my makeup for in here. Nice, isn't it? I'd like that if it was like a, let me have a, a big size one. So yeah, let me know your favourite item. And well, it suits our house at the top bit there. It does, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. You're right. Show them actually. He said it, it suits our house, a little detail. That's quite Georgian here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and if you are on Instagram, Come over to Instagram. I've got a house Insta. account Insta, called Kate's Homey Home, and my normal account is Kate McCabe, and they'll be linked in the description box as well. I'll speak to you next Friday. I've got a Matalan haul for next Friday, and then some other stuff. I don't know. But I will be on Instagram most days. Thanks again for watching, and I'll speak to you next Friday. Take care. See you soon. See ya. Bye.
Enjoying your walkies. Come on. I'm just a bit further up the beach, a little bit higher. So I thought I'd just carry on doing a bit more filming. Sun's just about to go down the other side. The sun is just going down, as you can see there. Lee and Toby are playing football. And we're going to head back home. Rufus has had a lovely time. <laughs> thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed being at the beach. And thanks for watching to the end. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.